Hello, this is Father Daniel Kim, Marital Missioner, and welcome to our daily Gospel reading and reflection. Today's Gospel reading is according to St. Luke, chapter 9, verses 22 to 25. Jesus said to his disciples, The Son of Man must suffer greatly and be rejected by the elders, the chief priests, and the scribes, and be killed and on the third day be raised. Then he said to all, If anyone wishes to come after me, he must deny himself and take up his cross daily and follow me. For whoever wishes to save his life will lose it, but whoever loses his life for my sake will save it. And what profit is there for one to gain the whole world, yet lose or forfeit himself? The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Lord Jesus Christ. This Gospel passage from Luke lays the roadmap to undergoing Lent the right way, that is, through self-denial and taking up our crosses daily and following Christ. Jesus did not waste any time trying to sugarcoat any of the challenges we might encounter if we follow in his footsteps, especially in the advent of pandemic. However, one of the things that we can find confidence in was that Jesus led by example. He himself was subjected to the trials that he underlined, perhaps even more. Not only that, Christ promised to send aid in the form of the Holy Spirit to provide not just partial support, but everything that we might require to spread the good news to the ends of the world through our unique talents and gifts specially assigned to us. It is through trial and hardships, that is, through the cross, that we are able to find our resilience and fortitude of our spirit because we believe we are spiritual beings embodied. And just like Christ, we are promised eternal life if we believe that our existence extends beyond this world. So in a nutshell, I believe we ultimately have two choices, to sit idly by and squander the precious gifts that only we can share with the world in fear of being ridiculed and rejected, or take up our crosses, have faith in the Holy Spirit working in us, and do our part in building a world where peace, justice, and love will reign. Thank you for listening to today's Gospel reading and reflection. Please be sure to tune in again tomorrow. Have a blessed and resilient day. If you enjoyed today's Gospel reading and reflection, please make sure that you subscribe wherever you're listening to podcasts. Also, if you know somebody who may find value in today's reading, please make sure that you share it with them. To learn more about how you can support the work that Mary Knoll does around the world, please visit us at maryknollsociety.org. And if you're interested in subscribing to our online magazine, please feel free to visit us at marinolmagazine.org. Thank you once again for spending your time with us today, and God bless.